going down? This is Shades of Soul, and welcome to another episode of New Jack Swing Sundays. What I'm going to be doing with these episodes is I'm going to take two New Jack Swing albums and I'm going to compare them using my uniquely crafted point system, choosing which is the better of the two albums, in my opinion. Originally referred to as sophisticated bubblegum music by Teddy Riley, the term New Jack means newcomer. And the term swing refers to the tempo of R&B mixed with hip-hop dance production. So this week we're going to be pitting female empowerment against the Oakley Stroke. This week's albums are Ooh on the TLC tip versus Tony Tony Tones The Revival. So you know what that means. It's going to be a party, y'all. So let's get into it. One Tony equals one point. One running man equals two points. Three Tonys equal three points. A cross color fit equals four points. And the coveted Gumby equals five points. The standout tracks are officially for Ooh on the TLC tip, Baby, 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 and Personally, I Agree, and the standout track on the revival is It Never Rains in Southern California, but for me personally, it is It Feels Good. And fun fact, Lisa Bonet directed the video for It Never Rains in Southern California. TLC tip has 59 points. The revival has 53 points. The winner is Ooh on the TLC tip. Ooh on the TLC tip. Now, in previous episodes, I did not give full points to skits. 
because most of the previous album skits were funny and that adds to an album's personality, but I don't think it adds to the overall tone of an album. And it's not as long as an actual song. But the intermission and skits on O on the TLC tip are different. The opening, and I wouldn't even call it a skit, it's audio of a gentleman giving his opinion on the group. And he's stating that he doesn't like the way they dress and he feels like they're trying to be something that they're not. And that... He doesn't, he, he just not, he thinks it's lame. But then he goes on to say that they're cute. The ladies answer that with the first album on the track, which is Ain't Too Proud to Beg, which is written by Lisa Left Eye Lopez and Dallas Austin, which is basically a track about female sexual empowerment and how a woman can own her sexuality and feel comfortable speaking about sex the same way guys feel comfortable speaking about sex. The album goes on and Hat to the Back comes on. And they address head on the claims of how a woman should dress. And it's t Boss stars by saying, I don't like wearing tight clothes. I like to be free. And then Left Eye picks up like with, the, with her verse. And she starts with, for the last two weeks, I've been dressed like a, like a, I'm going to a fashion show. I'm chilling. I got my baggy clothes on and this guy wanted to diss me about it, you know? And basically, that's what the whole song is about, you know? I got my hat to the back. I'm going to keep my pants down real low. That's how I am. That's how I rock it, basically. You know, that doesn't make me less feminine because I want to dress like this. At this point, TLC is telling a story, and the story is they're not going to be forced into the normalized standards of femininity. They're going to dress the way they want to dress, they're going to talk about what they want to talk about, and they're going to be comfortable doing it. So the album comes on, and before the song His Story starts, Left Eye gives a shout out to Tawana Broadley who is a 15-year-old girl who accused four adult men of raping her and was later accused of falsifying those claims. The song His Story is basically about when there's two versions of a story, a male version and a female version, the male version is more likely to be believed. The sad thing about that is that that was true not only in the 90s, that still reigns true to this day. The album continues and my favorite track on the album comes on, which is Baby, Baby, Baby. First of all, not only is this one of the best New Jack Swing ballads, what I love is the confidence and bravado on this song. When Chili say, I can have any man I want to, and then she follows that up with, that's actual and factual. Like... I can have whoever I want, and that's a fact. Matter of fact, this, this was chilly. This was chilly last week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. So, not only at the time that she said it, but probably still to this day, Chili probably could have any man she want, probably still to this day. I love the bravado of this album. I love the confidence of this album. I love the fact that this is a quintessential New Jack Swing album from Ain't Too Proud to Bag, to Hat to the Back, to What About Your Friends, which questions the loyalty of your inner circle. That is one of the standout tracks, which was also written by Left Eye and Dallas Austin. Ooh, on the TLC tip, what I love about this album is that TLC delivers a stellar album from start to finish. Tony Tony Tones, The Revival. Okay.
How Tony Tony Tone got the name Tony Tony Tone. Dwayne used to have a roommate and they used to rag on him and mess with him and they used to call him Tony Tony Tone. But Tony Tony Tone is also the name that they used to give when they got dressed up fly to go out. They'd be like, after they get dressed, they'd be like, Tony Tony Tone. <laughs> so they were all performing in separate bands. They, they were not a group. They were performing in separate bands. And they did a performance one night, uh, Raphael Sadiq, Dwayne, and their cousin Timmy. And somebody in the group, somebody in the audience asked them what was their name. And they said, Tony, Tony, Tone. So that's basically how they got the name Tony, Tony, Tone. It's a joke that they just stuck with for years. The Revival. Okay, so the album starts off with It Feels Good. And I had to go back and forth about which was my favorite song on this album. Whether it was Feels Good or whatever you want. But Feels Good wins hands down. When you hear this beat. It's a party. It's party time. It, it automatically makes you feel good. The song makes you feel good. It's new Jack Swing. It's danceable. The beats, the beat is outstanding. It Feels Good is an outstanding, outstanding <laughs> new Jack Swing song. Okay, so the album goes on and you got Oakland Stroke and the Blues. What, and these are outstanding new jack swing songs the first four five songs on this album they're quintessential new jack swing songs the second half of this album is is not new jack swing the next the, the next set of songs it never rains in southern california whatever you want these songs give you elements of r&b they give you elements of funk they give you elements of jazz it is playing with sounds and 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 a soundscape that is way more advanced than just a basic new jack swing album and then the next set of songs pick up where those songs left the first set of songs left off and being new jack swing all over again tony tony tone delivers a complete album here and this is a New Jack Swing show. So the points say, ooh, on a TLC tip wins. And it does by New Jack Swing standards because ooh, on the, ooh, on the TLC tip is a better New Jack Swing album. But the revival is a better complete album. See, it is a difference between an artist and, a mu and musicians. TLC were artists. This was their first time out the gate and they performed and they wrote and they basically performed material and it set the overall tone of their album, which was great. They put out a very good album for it to be their first time up at bat. But Tony Tony Tone are musicians. Other than three songs on this album, they produced the entire album. Musicians create the sound of their album and not just playing the, the songs like it's the whole approach of a musician to a piece as opposed to an artist. An artist has an interpretation of the work, but a musician creates the interpretation. So the revival is not as a good New Jack Swing album. It has new, very good New Jack Swing songs on it. And it's very high on the New Jack Swing album list. But if we're talking about a complete album produced by musicians, oh, this album wins hands down. And this is just the predecessor to how great that they would become. So, I feel like the points are right once again. Ooh, on a TLC tip is a better album because TLC are great artists.
And The Revival is a better overall album because Tony, Tony, Tone are better musicians. Thanks for tuning in to New Jack Swing Sundays. Next week, I'm going to switch it up on y'all. I'm going to have something a little bit different. So thanks for tuning in. See y'all next week.